Hello and welcome. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure, the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. I continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Point and Fail. I, I'm playing Mist. I'm playing original Mist. I'm actually playing real Mist, Masterpiece Edition. Um, because it's fancy. <laughs> I've been watching other people play Mist work a while now, and I'm like, I just, I just, I wanted to play Mist 4, but it won't work on my computer, and I'm missing a disc. And even if I had that other disc, it wouldn't work on my computer, because I have 10, and it's, it's too powerful to run Mist 4, apparently. <laughs> And it's not on any of the sites. It's not on Steam, and it's not on GOG, and I found a place to download it, and I was like, no, that's going to take me five million days, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to steal. I don't want to steal. So, we're going to play Free Roam Edition, um, and if I get sick um, from doing that, we're going to switch back to Classic, but... Uh, okay, and this is real mist, so we have flashlight capabilities, because there are time settings. Oh my god, it looks so gorgeous. Uh, wow. Maybe I don't want to play. No, you know what? I lied. Oh, I had been playing before. That's why this. I lied. I'm going to click on things. I want classic mist. I want classic mist! No, go back. Ah, eh, wrong button. Okay, classic mist makes me go... Oh, look how beautiful this is. Can I look down? I would like to look down. Oh, I love this game. I love this game so much. So, I have been watching Cam and Alex play mist. The original mist, not masterpiece mist. Um, on Talking Simulator, and I don't know if you've never watched Talking Simulator. Oh, they play a lot of games, so they know a lot about games, and they're very interesting. And you can watch them on Loading Ready Live, a YouTube channel, Loading Ready Live. Okay, Topographical Extrusion Test, 40. Marker Switch Diagram, 47. Water Turbulent Pool, 67. I'm on 67, so that's what that was. Let's try this one! Ah, the noises. The noises, which might be a little loud. Oh no, they're fine. They're just loud to me. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, look how fancy! Uh, if this looked like this in 93 when it came out, that would have been awesome. Oop, wrong way. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I love the music in this. And when I finally get to the library, I'll tell you about my other love in this game. Yep. Also, this is this is masterpiece, so I have rhyme. Except rhyme is incomplete. I don't, however, have fast travel. Fast travel was something that when they finally came up with it was much needed. Excuse me a second. What the hell are you doing? Kitty! <clears throat> Pause. Excuse me. What are you doing back here? What are you doing? What are 
are you doing? Get away from there. Get out. Get out. <sighs> Sorry about that. My cat decided to play with my power strip. If you turn off my power, you will be living outside. <laughs> Puppy, leave. No. Get on the couch. Come on. Try again. Come on. Ugh. My dog is needy. Okay. Bloop. Oh. Nice. That's simply just freaking gorgeous. Paper. Catherine, I've left a message for you of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. And to the number of marker switches on this island, into the imager to receive your message, yours, Atris. Um, I know how many there are. I do, however, need to turn everything on. So while I'm thinking of it. Do, 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 do. There are eight marker switches. I'm watching you, cat. Quit playing with my power cord. <clears throat> I this music. That's a special blip blip. Well, I would, but I don't know how. <clears throat> also, I'm not Catherine. I'm just the stranger. This is why fast travel would be so awesome. Okay. And that place is awesome. Oh, two doors. Okay. Let me introduce you to the reason I absolutely love this game. <laughs> it's not there yet. Um, I had the biggest crush on Cirrus. I don't know why. Because he's obviously evil, right?
I see. Anyways, sorry, I was slightly distracted. I had the biggest crush on him. I don't know why. I often have crushes on weird people. Um, but playing this game, I'm just like, you don't hardly see any of them, but I saw enough of them to know, yes, that was an attractive man. <laughs> No, nope, not serious. He's in the other book. I'm just a gal. Akana? Got it. What was that? Blue pages. Blue pages, okay. Okay. What I love about this is it's been I've been wandering around for maybe twelve minutes, right? We've introduced we've been introduced to the three main players in the game. Atris, who's in the well, who I know I kind of cheated to figure out who it was. And you have Cirrus, and you have Aknar. And they seem to be in distress, but they also seem like Cirrus is very much... Look at my goatee of evil, and t it will tell you how evil I am. And then Aknar is very, I'm crazy! So, they're both not trustworthy. Oops. Um... And yet, you're compelled to save, you're compelled to help them out because you're intrigued by this whole thing of they're trapped in books. Now, oh, this is just full of words. Full of words! Stoneship Age and Constellations. Um, and then you find, you also find the library that's full of burned books. Everything is burned! Except for Stone Ship Age, Channel Wood. Which has a nice little map here. And this one is the Sound Age of so Selenica. Um, which has this lovely little thing there. What does it say? Age. Yeah, the Selenic Age of Mist. Um, then you have this one, which is. I don't remember the name of this one, and I can't quite read it. And a puzzle book, which is. Oh. Oh no, this one's Rhyme. Uh, rhyme 40. So basically, the topographical map that you see when you hit 40 is rhyme. That's what rhyme looks like. And then there's another one. Where's my puzzle book? No. Hmm. Nope, oh, that's burned. Definitely burned. Definitely burned. I'll find it eventually. It's fine. I don't need it yet. But then there's the puzzle book, which is important later. Okay. Oh, go 
something and leave. So we journey around. I'm going to turn on all my marker switches because it's necessary to turn on all the marker switches. Do There's also a door underneath this place. Hey, excuse you. And you see this pool, and it looks like a ship that is entirely submerged. And you're like, I bet I can get that fixed. Oops, too far. Okay. And hello the butterfly. And you can't get to this one. It's way the heck over there. But you know that these things Oh this is nice. When this originally started, um, you were not able to turn and look at the same time. Harper knows answers. You want to see a cheat? No, I'm not going to cheat yet. Now I just really need to know which one do I want to go to first. Um, I believe that one is 223, 221. Uh, this one... Has a lovely little gas puzzle. Um, do I remember what the code is for that? No, it's four, I think. Four, one, two. And you see this lovely picture here. I was going to quit before that started. Anyways. So now we've gone and we've seen everything. So, and we turn on all the switches. And if we go back to the library. And we'll talk white right through the clock. We go back to the library. Oops. There we go. We can see that everything has been turned on. And that's the tower rotation he was talking about. So if you want, you hear the tower is moving. So I want to go to, oh, which one do I want to go to first? Um, I turned this switch on, why is there nothing there? Because it's technically that. Got it. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> I want to go to... Uh, ship room first. Which is... No. Do I? Yes. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of my ages. Okay, this ship brings me that ship takes me to evil underground maze um, that takes me to steam world which is technically under there yeah the ship well then what does this bring me to or is this the one I want to go to first? Hang on. Okay. We're gonna go this first. Oh, and to get there, see these two pictures?
that open, door shut. Oh. It will not go anywhere until you close that door. <clears throat> This is, that allows you, <clears throat> excuse me, that allows you to look to see where you're going. And then over there, gives you the key. But you got half of it already. It is 221. So 240, which is the time I put in there, and 221 is the key for the thing that's in there. Now, I could just uh, go to every single tower placement thing and get the key for all of them, but I don't want to right at the moment. I just want to go to a world. And I want to get to a new world, to a new age of mist, <clears throat> before I leave you today. So I'm going to run down this hallway. <clears throat> running, 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 running. Open my door. Run. Running, 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 running. Okay, the stuff that you'll notice with this is that there's a, a lever right here that gives you a certain amount of times this thing puts everything back to one. So this operates the first two, this operates the second two. Now, it took forever. Gears open, sweet. Um, it took forever for most people to realize that if you hold, held on to it, you can move the second one independently. Because it was not explicitly stated. So, without the ability <clears throat> to hold to change a specific gear, you will never be able to get that puzzle open. Um, in the amount of moves it, it gives you. Okay, and now you see that I'm running back to the gear. One, because I know that that's where I need to go. And two, when the thing opened up, you notice that it looked exactly like this gear here. I'm like, oh, I've seen that before. Or you've seen another gear like it. And you find a book! And this book will take you to the Mechanical Age. I'm calling it the Mechanical Age. I don't really know if that's what it's called. So, now that we are here, we find ourselves in a new land. A new and awesome land, full of gears. And that's where we will return to next time. So tune in next time, find out what goes on on the Mechanical Age, which is what I'm calling it. I don't know if I'm right. Um, I should probably find that out before next time. Okay. Bye.